Hi, everybody. So now we're going to um, look again at the problem of, uh, of least squares that we looked at in the uh, previous lecture. But um, we're going to take a different point of view on it, a point of view that's uh, more geometric and which does a better, it's kind of a better formulation for generalizing our problem into uh, higher dimensional situations. So um, let's take a look. So let's imagine that we, uh, we're in the same situation. We have a collection. We're given a set of points. And um, we want to uh, find the line of best fit. And in the, in, we thought of these before. We thought of these as n points in R2. So here were the points in R2, and we found the best line in the plane that passed through them. But now I want to think about them differently. I want to think of I want to make three vectors. The first one is the vector x, which is I'm going to take all the x coordinates and put them into a column vector. I'm going to take the coordinates y and put them into a column vector. And I'm going to take e, which is going to be useful to deal with the b term. And it's going to be the vector, all of whose coordinates are 1. And so these three vectors belong to Rn. But um, notice that, that if yi equaled mxi plus b for all i, in other words, if the points that we were looking at actually did lie on the line, then the vector y would equal m times the vector x plus b times the vector e. In other words, the three vectors would be linearly dependent. But of course, that's not actually true. And, in, and so what does that mean? Well, it means that x and e span a plane, a two-dimensional space, in Rn, and y hat, y, the vector y, not y hat, doesn't belong to that plane. So we can draw a picture of that in, that looks like this. Here, this is a sort of a side view. So this is the plane spanned by x and e. And here's the point, the vector, not y hat. I keep wanting to make that a hat. Here's the vector y. And um, so this plane, the plane spanned by x and e, this consists of, by definition, all of the combinations mx bar, mx arrow plus 
B E arrow. And so it, one way to think about the problem of linear uh, regression is to ask, what is the closest point here on this plane, which is of the form mx plus be, what is the closest point to y? And uh, it may be uh, clear to you from sort of geometric considerations that that shortest point occurs when you take a line which is perpendicular to the plane and that passes through the point y hat, y that passes through the point y with an arrow. And this point here, which I'm going to call y hat, is the best um, the best approximation to y that lies in the plane. And notice that because y hat belongs to the plane, y hat is going to be mx plus be for some m and b. And so the coordinates of y hat, y1 hat down to yn hat, are the predicted y values. So our strategy for solving the problem in, from this point of view is to find the point in the plane spanned by x and e, which is closest to y. And again, we can use calculus to do that. Namely, we can look at um, the distance. If we have a general point m x plus b e, the distance, that's our y hat of m and b. And the distance from y hat to y is the distance m x plus b e minus y. And that's what we want to minimize. And if we do that by vector calculus, we use the fact that this distance, we use the fact that the norm of a vector squared any vector is just the dot product of that vector with itself. And so that means that this distance is m x plus b e minus y dotted with m x plus b e minus y. And again, we take the partial derivatives of this with respect to m and with respect to b. So let me call this d. And the partial derivative of d with respect to m is this, you can use the product rule. So it's the derivative of the first with respect to m, which is x dotted with the second, plus the first, which is the same thing, dotted with the derivative of the second. So we get two copies of this. And the partial derivative of d with respect to b is going to be e, 2e, dotted with mx plus be minus y. And so the closest point is when we set both of these equal to zero. So um, let's take a minute to look at these two equations. The, the first one, the derivative of d with respect to m equals zero, we can rewrite that as dropping the two as x 
dotted with mx plus be minus y equals zero. And the second one as e dotted with mx plus be minus y equals zero. And let's go back to our picture of the geometry of the situation. Remember that the, the plane we're interested in is the combinations mx plus be. And we have the vector y, which sits outside of the plane. And the idea was we were trying to find the point closest to uh, y hat, well, closest to the vector y, which lies in the plane. So this vector here, Is the um, is the vector which joins a point here in the plane where you have m and b as the coordinate as the co combination. Uh, so you and then you so you're looking at the vector which run when you take the difference of vectors you're considering the vector which joins y to a point in the plane. And the two conditions here say that the vector we're looking for is perpendicular to x and it's perpendicular to E. And X and E are the vectors which span this plane. So if a vector is perpendicular, if we, let's this call this maybe for the moment uh, A of M and B. These two conditions say that the vector A of M and B is perpendicular to both x and e, and so is perpendicular to the plane they span. And so this just confirms the geometric intuition that we talked about earlier, which says that the closest point is the one that makes where the vector that runs from the plane to the point outside the plane makes a right angle with the plane. Now, um, if you look at these equations, uh, you can simplify them just by uh, distributing the dot product and you get m x dot x plus b x dot e equals x dot y and m e dot x plus b e dot e equals e dot y. And remembering what x and e and y are, x dot x is the sum of the xi squareds. x dot e is the sum of the xi's. x dot y is the sum of the xi yi. y dot e is the sum of the yi's. And e dot e is just n. Because e, remember, is just a bunch of ones. And so these two equations, these are the same we obtained by minimizing the mean squared error. And so again, the uh, these two different points of view uh, on least squares give the same uh, final result as to what the M and B are for the line of best fit.